So our variable speed drive, we had it set to come on at 105 and turn off at 125. So we'd average about 115 PSI. Um, talk with the guys, 115 is like the ideal PSI in our collective opinions because it's not gonna stress out things where you've got like 175 PSI going everywhere in the shop. And it's not gonna alarm out machines when you're running like 80, 90, 100 PSI. Um, even like the, the air guns, the blow off nozzles, you get much better just throttle control, if you will. So we used to have it 105 to 125. Now we're running it at 125 to 145. The reason we do that is because when you are in those higher air pressures, the variable speed capability really kicks in. So it will turn on at 125 and it'll ramp up. It's not like a piston style air compressor that comes on at this hard and shuts off hard at this top. It will go up and then the variable speed will kick in and it'll start to level off. It won't ever hit 145. It'll float kind of like a sine wave between these two highs and lows. So just such a, a great feature that we weren't even um, experiencing because we had the set points too low in our old shop.